The French and Indian War is over now. You can now go home, stay there and live your peaceful little lives in your colonies while making us British richer. Hey, watch it, Mr. British officer. Please don't tell me what to do. I have lived here in Virginia my whole life. My father and mother raised 14 children here in the colonies. I am one of them. I belong here. You belong in England. What? I am just telling you to stay put. The proclamation of 1763 says you have to stay on the east side of the Great Mountain Range. Just obey. Americans. That's not going to happen, is it? Nope. Of course it isn't, because you rebellious colonists do not listen to anyone. You don't listen, even if there are dangerous Indians on the other side of the Appalachian Mountains. Indians. Those people are wild. They will kill you as soon as look at you. Do you know about Pontiac's tribe? I have never met them, but they seem like nice Indians. Are you kidding? Pontiac's tribe? Pontiac and his people rebelled against the King of England, and we had to save your sorry behinds when they attacked. Pontiac and his Ottawa tribe rebelled and were going to kill you colonists. See, I told you that Indians are dangerous. As you well know, we attacked them and quickly defeated them in the name of King George. But for a little while, the Indians gained some ground. They attacked and gained Fort Pitt. When a few Indians asked the defenders of Fort Pitt to surrender, the British command refused and sent them away. While doing so, he gave them gifts, which included food, alcohol, and two blankets and the handkerchief which had come from people suffering smallpox. The intent was for it to spread among the Indians. So, thanks to a little biological warfare, we vanquished their leader and many of those redskins. Really that's how you beat them? Well, it didn't hurt. Never mind about Pontiac. Then you had to go and put that stupid controlling line on the mountains. The king told us that we could not go west of the mountains. We don't like lines on mountains. We fought for the chance to use the Ohio River Valley. Well, what do you expect? We do not want to have to send soldiers over the river and through the woods, the woods with those icky ticks that get inside your clothing and suck your blood, and swell up as big as grapes. I don't like the woods. What do I expect? What do I expect? I expect freedom. I still think it is controlling. The proclamation of 1763 was given to avoid further conflicts with the Indians. Well that's not going to stop us. Why isn't it? Because we are Americans. No, you are not. You are British. We are. We are in America. We are far from Britain. I kind of like the sound of that. I am an American. We are Americans. You are so unappreciative. No, you are trying to control us. You are limiting our rights, and you just want us to trade with you. Well, we will. But we still do not like being controlled. No, no, we are not trying to control. Yes, you are. Do not deny it. We are not. Well, it doesn't matter. It is silly to argue. I am doing what I want, and tomorrow 1,000 wagons are going west through the Cumberland Gap, and so am I so there. I hate you so very much.